Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with uh, network theorems. So, so far we have uh, discussed about uh, the basic application of Norton's theorem to circuits involving independent sources. We have discussed around uh, six or seven eight questions related to that and also uh, the interconversion between Norton and Thevenin theorem. So in the next series of questions, we'll be discussing application of Norton theorem to circuits involving dependent sources. Okay, like the same thing we did for superposition theorem and also for Thevenin theorem. Okay, so here is the first question. We have this circuit where we have to find the Norton equivalent circuit across the terminals A and B. So this circuit is important because of this dependent uh, source which is basically a current dependent current source this is a current dependent current source and this is the important variable here so okay so first step is the determination of the short circuit Norton current. So we have to short circuit the terminals A and B and we have to find the short circuited current. Okay. Okay, so this is So we'll short circuit this. This is the Norton current. This is 5 ohm. This is 2 I X. This is 4 ohm. This is 10 volt. And this is I X. Now, the important thing here is to determine I X because this current dependent current source is dependent on that. So here if you see this 10 volt is connected across this 4 ohm resistor through which this current ix is flowing so ix here is 10 volt by 4 ohm which is basically 2.5 ampere ix is 2.5 ampere so 2 ix will be 5 ampere this this is equal to 5 ampere okay now here this current flowing is im here it is 2ix now let us assume this current direction to be this so this will be im minus 2ix okay so now let us apply KVL in this closed mesh, this closed loop. So that will be starting from here. Let us note the polarity. Okay. So we'll apply KVL here. And that is 10 minus 5 into IN minus 2IX or we can say it is I n minus 5 is equal to 0 okay n minus 5 is equal to 0 or we can say that implies 10 minus 5 i n plus 25 is equal to 0 that implies 5 i n is equal to 35 that implies i n is equal to 35 by 5 which is equal to 7 ampere so here the Norton current is equal to 7 ampere this we have determined okay the first step of finding I n is done now we have to determine R n okay the equivalent resistance the Norton resistance 
So, we have determined the Norton current I n is equal to 7 ampere. Now, we have to determine the Norton resistance. Okay. So, for that first we have to do is to deactivate the independent sources and then we have to use another excitation voltage or current and then we have to determine the Norton resistance. Okay. So, let us do that. So, first 4 ohm this gets short circuited as it is a an independent voltage source so it will get short circuited and this is 5 ohm this is 2ix and we have to connect uh, an excitation voltage let us connect a 1 volt excitation voltage source here this is 5 ohm this is 2ix and this here is ix the dependent variable this is short circuited this 10 volt is short circuited here okay let us say this current is i0 now here rn is 1 volt by i0 that is the Norton resistance now here as this 10 volt gets short circuited this voltage here is 0 volt because it is short circuited okay it is connected to ground directly so it is 0 volt so as it is 0 volt the current i x flowing through 4 ohm will also be 0 ampere so that is very important i x is equal to 0 ampere as i x is equal to 0 ampere 2 i x is also equal to 0 ampere and this dependent current source it gets open circuited this one gets open circuited so the modified circuit here will look something like this okay this is the modified circuit 1 volt 5 ohm this is short circuited and this gets open circuited here okay so uh, actually it is like this a little bit further okay okay this i0 and the same i0 flows here because here it is 0 ampere okay you get it this gets open circuited because i x is equal to 0 and this is short circuited this is the modified circuit so now i0 is basically 1 by 5 ampere okay 1 by 5 ampere and rn is equal to 1 volt by i0 i0 is 1 by 5 so it is 1 by 1 by 5 is equal to 5 ohm rn is equal to 5 ohm so rn the Norton equivalent resistance is 5 ohm so in is equal to 7 ampere rn is equal to 5 ohm so we have determined the two parameters required for constructing the Norton equivalent circuit so it will look something like this Okay. the current source Norton current parallel with the Norton resistance 5 ohm 7 ampere okay this okay so this is the Norton equivalent circuit okay